we had a, a clean slate meeting at the very beginning of the project with all of the staff and, and the administration because they are coming from an existing school to a new school. So that's what we called it, the clean slate workshop. It was a full day meeting in a, in a hotel conference center and we uh, sort of broke down what are the best uh, ideas that staff and administration could have for a new high school. And at the time we started uh, designing West Kildona, there were no houses. That was just one big open field. So we knew there was a housing development that was going to surround the school. And we knew that it had to connect into the community, it had to connect to the river, it had to connect to the community center. So all of the site planning and the planning of the school took into consideration uh, the fact that this was going to be a community-based facility. The stage that we built in the Commons, uh, we designed the edges of the stage in such a way that they're actually seating areas. And the idea being that kids, uh, we anticipated that kids would sit along that edge in different ways. Um, we, we designed it so there were different kind of little micro spaces where kids can cluster and meet. Uh, we, we, we anticipated kids sitting on the stage or sitting up against the wall at the back of the stage. There's all different types of kids who need a different type of space. They were able to take the same population of students from one old, kind of worn down facility that was really an old model of, of school design, and bring them into a new school with a new model, and they could directly compare how the new school would perform. Absenteeism has gone down dramatically, that bullying has gone down dramatically, that um, some of the kids who are causing trouble now have a place in the school. When we go back and talk to you know, the principal and the students and staff uh, a year or two years later, they say to us that the school has exceeded their expectations. And when, when they tell you that as an architect, that is really the most gratifying thing. 